on this second order ODE, uh, notice that the function on the right side contains two terms. And we'll start by finding the complementary solution, or the solution that corresponds to y double prime plus 4y prime plus 4y is equal to 0. And so for my complementary solution, letting y equal e to the mx, my characteristic equation is going to be m squared plus 4m plus 4 is equal to 0. And m squared plus 4m plus 4 factors into m plus 2 times m plus 2. And so notice we have a repeated solution we get m is equal to negative 2 multiplicity 2. And so one solution is e to the negative 2x, and then a second linearly independent solution is x e to the negative 2x. Our complementary solution is c1 e to the negative 2x plus c2 x e to the negative 2x. Okay, now let's find our particular solution. To find the particular solution, on our first term, we need to cancel out this x e to the negative 2x. Well, to cancel out x e to the negative 2x, normally we would want ax plus b times e to the negative 2x. But notice that this is essentially our complementary solution x e to the negative 2x is one term, and e to the negative 2x is the other term. And so we need to multiply by x until no terms are repeated or are repetitions of any term in the complementary solution. So even if I multiply by x, I still have this b x e to the negative 2x, which is like our, our second term in the complementary solution. So here I need to multiply by x squared so that I have no repeating terms. Okay, and then I need terms to cancel out this cosine of 2x and to cancel out a cosine of 2x I'm going to need both a cosine of 2x and a sine of 2x. I want to take this particular solution and substitute it into the original differential equation and then solve for my coefficients a, b, c, and d. And so here I have yp. I need yp prime, which uh, here, let me use the product rule. And here I have three different factors. So I'll take the derivative of my first factor, that gives me an a, multiplied by my other two factors, plus the derivative of my second factor, e to the negative 2x, brings the negative 2 in the front. So I get negative 2 times ax plus b times e to the negative 2x times x squared, and then plus, taking the derivative of x squared, that'll give me 2x times ax plus b e to the negative 2x. Then the derivative of cosine of 2x is going to give me a negative sine 2x, 
and that 2 will come out. So I'm going to get minus 2c sine 2x. And the derivative of d sine 2x is going to be 2d cosine 2x plus 2d cosine 2x. I'm going to simplify this a little bit to make the derivative easier uh, when I find that second derivative. I'm going to simplify all these e to the x terms by factoring out the e to the x, e to the negative, x, uh, negative 2x. And that's going to give me an ax squared minus 2ax minus 2b. And both of those terms need to be multiplied by x squared. That'll make that an x to the third, and that'll be a bx squared. Here I get a 2ax squared plus 2ax squared plus 2bx. And then I have minus 2c sine 2x plus 2d cosine 2x. Now from here, I see the only thing I can really combine are these uh, 2ax squared and 1ax squared. And I'll combine those when I do my second derivative. So when I do my second derivative, using the product rule, the derivative of e to the negative 2x is going to give me e to the negative 2x and then I'll have negative 2 multiplied by everything inside the uh, brackets. So that's going to give me, let me see, combining these two gave me 3. So let me just cross that out and make this a 3. And I'm going to multiply everything inside here by negative 2. So I get 4ax cubed plus 2 b x squared minus 6 a x squared minus 4 b x. Okay, so that's the derivative of e to the negative 2 x multiplied by everything inside the brackets. And now I need everything, the derivative of everything inside the brackets multiplied by e to the negative 2x. So I'm just going to keep that e to the negative 2x out here and now I'll take the derivative of these four terms inside so that this first term becomes negative 6ax squared negative 6ax squared and then I get minus 2bx minus 2bx plus 6ax plus 6ax plus 2b okay, and then the derivative of negative 2c sine 2x is going to bring another 2 out it's going to give me minus 4c cosine 2x and the derivative of 2d cosine 2x is going to be minus 4d sine 2x so let me simplify this a little bit. Let's see what I can combine. I have my 4ax to the third. Let me see, so that took care of this term. My x squared terms, I have 2bx squared. That's my only bx squared, so I'm going to copy that down. Here I have negative 6ax squared and another negative 6ax squared. Those combine to give me negative 12ax squared. And I have a negative 4bx and a negative 2bx. Those combine to give me negative 6bx. 
and I have a 6ax and then plus 2b. And my cosine term and my sine term. Now I'm going to substitute everything into the original differential equation. I think I'm going to uh, work that off here to the right. So when I substitute my particular solutions in, these y prime and y double prime and y become y p's. And I get my second derivative. That's a huge long term at the bottom e to the negative 2x times 4ax to the third plus 2bx squared minus 12ax squared minus 6bx plus 6ax plus 2b minus 4c cosine 2x plus, nope, that's a minus, minus 4d sine 2x. Okay, and then I have plus 4 times the first derivative. And so what I'll do is I'll bring that e to the negative 2x and I'll multiply everything inside the brackets by 4. So I get negative 8a x to the third. And I'll try and line up like terms as, as much as I can. Minus 4b x squared. Plus 12a x squared. plus 8bx uh, and then I have minus 8c sine 2x and I have plus 8d cosine 2x And then I have plus 4 times y. And so when I multiply 4 times y, again I'll keep that e to the negative 2x out here. And I know that I have this multiplied by x squared. So I'm going to get 4ax to the third and 4bx squared. And then I've got 4c cosine 2x plus 4d sine 2x. Okay, I'm going to combine all this as much as I can. So my inside my exponential, notice I've got 4a to the x x to the third, 4a x to the third, and negative 8a x to the third. Those all cancel. This negative 4bx squared and positive 4bx squared cancels. So I'm left with a neg uh, I'm left with a 2bx squared. It's this one up here. My negative 12ax squared and positive 12ax squared cancel negative 6bx and a positive 8bx combined to give me a plus 2bx. I have a plus 6ax plus 2b. Okay, now let's see our cosine. I have 4c cosine, negative 4c cosine up here, 
positive 4 C cosine down here, those cancel. And sines, negative 4 D sine 2 X and a positive 4 D sine 2 X cancels. So I'm left with minus 8 C sine 2 X and a plus 8 D cosine 2 X. And this should be equal to what I have on the right side. is equal to e to the negative 2x times x plus cosine 2x. So if we compare like terms, these e to the negative 2x x terms should match up, which means the coefficient here is 1. That tells me that 2b plus 6a has to equal 1. It's my x e to the negative 2x. 2b plus 6a has to equal 1. And for my cosine terms, it tells me that 8d has to equal 1. Well, from here, I know what D is. D is 1 eighth. And then all my other terms have to equal 0. So, because I don't have an x squared term on the right side of the equation, I know that 2B has to be 0. That B is 0. And that also cancels this term out. And if b is 0, this term cancels out, and that tells me that a is 1 sixth. And my sine term cancels out, so that tells me c has to also be 0. So let's see, my particular solution, then a is 1 sixth, b is 0, c is 0, d is 1 eighth. So I have see b is 0, a is 1 sixth, I get 1 sixth x to the third e to the negative 2x and c is 0, d is 1 eighth plus 1 eighth sine 2x This is my particular solution. And then if you put your particular solution together with your complementary solution, we'll get the general solution. Yc plus Yp is C1 e to the negative 2x plus C2 x e to the negative 2x plus 1 sixth x to the third e to the negative 2x plus 1 eighth sine 2x and that's our general solution.